Alright, hey guys, so I'm back. Playing on P1. Yeah, I've got a friend here in front of me, the Dark Angel. So yeah, oh. Yeah, that's what I look like. I'm just standing too far against the wall. I'm a fluffy polar bear, if you want to say that. So yeah, I'm in Prison 1 and Titan now. So yeah, I'm just a thing that you must read if you really want to read. No hacking or exploiting. Do not complain if you die in PvP. A star's word is final. You can lose donated items in PvP for perks, ranks, and item, or for perks and items. Type slash donate. No advertising. No racism. Stay clear of PvP unless you want to die. Be careful going around the prison. Respect all members of prison. And uh, donate info. If you die, you'll lose the items. Read the terms and conditions. Look on the forms for more info on donations. Allow up to 24 hours for payments on, on arrival. We cannot refund or replace if this happens. Scamming is allowed. So, yeah, don't be dumb and allow it. Ask this guy. Ask a staff member for assistance. <coughs> and then the tips. Don't drop that soap. Best way to make money. Get a sell. Don't get on the wrong side of the guards. Be aware of the prison showers. And don't troll. Oh yeah. So. First off. I do have armor for my last series. That I did on here. So first off. When you first start here. As you come through the door, on both sides you have the PvP area. And then you have the warden, so you come up to him. And then, oh, didn't go close enough. Yeah, so to rank up. So yeah, it goes E4 to 1, then the rest like that. So it all cost, I th Wait. Uh... So it costs 20,000 to rank to E3. And then at E3 you'll be able to buy a sale because at E4 you can't really do much. And then you got all the three commissaries here. So you got one, two, and then three behind there. So you just come here. It costs 100 tickets to buy the first shop, 250, and then 500. So yeah, I better quickly run over. Alright, so now that I'm in E3, I mean, sorry, E Ward, <coughs> you have the little shop here. If you don't have enough tickets, you have this little shop that sells for quite good. So, yeah, you got just all your food, a few ores and planks, and all that. Some tools that you could start off with, but I've kind of cheated a little bit and already kept my tools. Then over here you got your farm. But before I show you the farm, you have a quest called David Leatherman. So you just come here. You just need all the all of those, so just the leather helmet, chest plate, leggings and boots. And he'll give you one thousand five hundred. So yeah, once you've made it all up, just push confirm and it'll take away credits if you've already done it so you just come here kill a bit of the cows yeah, kill the cows yeah, I think I have enough not sure oh no I won't have enough I think it's about 22 that you need So I just have a few other people around me. Alrighty. How many? 13. Oh, I'm not getting that lucky on this server yet. Right, 15. I'll just get a bit more. Because I'm not too sure how many I actually need. So if I need any more, I'll come back and get some more. Alright, 19. <coughs> 21, 23, alright, let's go try, yeah, so I just got a plus 12 attack, 
because I used to have Mastermind. <clears throat> Alright, so after you've collected all that, come to the permanent crafting tables here. Just start making your armor. So you got leather helmet, chest plate, boot. Yeah, sorry, that, and then your boots. Yeah, so I was right on. It's 23, so that's all you need. Just the boots, pants, tunic, and cap. So yeah, just push confirm. Well, I bought you it. Oh, I think, yeah, there you go. So I just completed my quest, got $1,500. So yeah, once you come through past that area, you have an uh, enchantment place here. So from levels 1 to 6, you get you can enchant your stuff. So I could enchant, well I can't really enchant any of this. And then levels 7 to 12, 13 to 18. 19 to 24 and then 25 to 30 so once you come through here you got the auction house so I'll just explain over here how you set up your signs in your cells so that's a buying sign that's a sell sign and that that's when it's out of stock or we'll have the red bar here but yeah, you guys can kind of come over look at here. Then when there's auctions going, you can just drop down there and they'll sell stuff. <coughs> so the first stop over here, we have our lumber yard. So all you have to do, come over here, pick a spot, and then just start hitting your wood. So we're just gonna a few tall, a few oak wood. Oh, whoopsie. Yeah, so right now I have the enforcer rank, so in my next video I'll show you all the places you can go or oh, sorry all the donator stuff you can get so yeah stay tuned for that oh I got more steak cool yeah so you just got a lumber yard there then down there you got more stuff over there and I'm not too sure what you have to bring to him to the land oh, you bring in one iron axe and you get a thousand dollars on here but I'll be doing that soon because I don't really read it, need it right now <coughs> so yeah here's a few of the cells that you can buy and then I'll come up soon you got the mine so yeah you got more cells all the way down there So over here you got all the smelting areas. So as you can see all of them are booked. Or well, these aren't. So how you use them, as you step on here the door will close and then you can move forward. And then as you move out to here, the door will open and you can walk outside again. So I'll come down here. Alright, so this is an E-Ward mine. So you got the basic kind of materials. You got all your cobblestone you can get. And then get coal for mine. For smelting this iron here. To make your money. So I'll just quickly get a bit.
Yeah, like if you want, leave a comment down below saying hashtag speedrun and I'll do speedrun to mining and showing how to make money faster. And I'll possibly buy, uh, I think, yeah, explosive pick. Or I could buy a bountiful pick. But yeah, as you keep mining through here a bit more, as you start getting higher, you start gaining tickets for the amount of places you mine. So I got seven iron. I'll get a bit more. Right. Oh, I forgot these ones here. Uh, ah, yeah, here we go. Here's the way out. Yeah, so when you come through here, they do have signs right at the bottom here, so you can sell, sell, there you go. Alright, oh, then I have to do it one by one now, because I didn't really have enough. So I'll just quickly do that. Alright, there you go, it's done. Alright, so, now, oh, yeah, so you got the smell trees here. And then you got some more here, so I'll just use these because they're closer. So you just walk in, and you can put your stuff in. So I'll just put my coal and then iron. But I think what I'll do is I'll split them all, so it goes faster. Alright, so while that kind of cooks, I'll just talk about something. So, as you may have noticed, I didn't really, oh, sorry, I don't have my YouTuber rank anymore, because I lost, got deranked by accident, because of what I did to someone. I may have called them a fag and all that, so, yeah, that's why I kind of lost it, but I don't really mind, I still want to do videos, so I just quit Prison 4 and thought about why not coming to Prison 1. And starting my series here. So yeah, soon as one of you guys are requested, I will be doing a Skyrim videos. I just don't have any mods right now to try and start it. But yeah, whenever you smelt here, make sure to take all your coal with, because it can get stolen. So yeah, once you've done all your smelting, you just come running back up to the shop that you saw at the start. And sorry, it's kind of taking long. I don't have my speed on anymore. Like on my Prison 4. Wait, Elmas, can you do slash speed? No. You just come over here, you can sell 64 iron ingots for 3,584, but I only collected 11, so it sells for $56 each. And then, if you also finish with the coal, you can come sell that. So I'm just going to go along here. Alright, one more piece of coal. Not got none of them. None, none. Oh, there's some steak here. Oh, whoops, I accidentally started selling that. Alright, war well, beef. <coughs> and it's also good never have, like, a block in front of you. Because it'll actually, yeah, try going in front of you. So, rather use just the free hand when you're selling stuff. Alrighty, I think, yeah, I can also see our logs. I didn't even get enough. Dang it. Well, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the first episode of my new series. There will be heaps more to come. But, yeah, I hope you stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Peace out.